from the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. You're all. I'm really uh, cold. I was gonna say you're. <laughs> yeah. You're it's all bundled. 50 it's 50 degrees. And it's, it's almost cold. It's almost June when we're mm. filming this. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. We're taking a look today at a knife that, well, we have for sale. Yes, and you were saying that you're going to regret selling it after we sell it. I already regret putting it up for sale. Right, yeah. It's one of those knives. Mm -hmm. um, well, sometimes we kind of just forget about them. And then we were like, oh, might as well just sell that one because we never got to it. We never got to it, exactly. Um, and then we look at them and we're like, oh, that's kind of nice. That's pretty cool. That's what you sound like. I know, I know. That's exactly what I sound like. <laughs> uh, let me see this. Okay, go ahead. Okay, guys. The subject of the video is the Kubi KB290. Atlas. Or the Atlas. Well, there goes our notes. Jeez, I told you they weren't going to stay up. All right. Anyways. Yeah, the KB290 Atlas sheep's foot blade mm -hmm. what's the actual blade length on that now that i can't look at the notes 3.75 3.75 it's on the larger side it just, it's a big knife it really is that's the thing you're not gonna care about selling it no a lot of times <laughs> the ones that we go ahead and sell are bigger knives isn't that terrible you guys well i get my way no all it's right. not terrible at all what's the brand new cost of it though um, if you want to buy it, it from is 169 yeah 99 169 99 from kubi.com yeah or amazon same price yeah okay mm -hmm. all right well it's a bigger knife let's take a look at it it's premium materials okay, i'm taking off my sunglasses it's hard to see the colors because it is really cool colors so i don't know if it really comes through too much in the video it but will. gray titanium with like this teal. green teal color it's really pretty it is it is like you don't really I like to have just like that little popo color, popo, popo, popo color. color, papa, good old papa color. I'll call it, uh, I'll call it subtle accent. Yeah, and then the logo's blue on the pivot. Yeah, it's check just out, cool. check out their pivot. That's all their premium knives. All of Kubi's premium knives have this pivot. KB. Yeah. So this is the gray version. There's two different colors of it. So there's the gray. Yeah. With a stone wash S35VN blade. Um, the other one's murdered out, Cho. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Black on is it, black. Is it like a stone wash murdered out or is it just? Um, It's a coated um, black stone wash. Yes. I'll be showing a photo. Yes, right here. So. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing that I put it up for sale and then I immediately went like, okay, why am I selling this? It's cool. It's got a lot of work to it. Uh -huh. So you would think it'd be a much more expensive knife. Yeah. There's just so much milling and machining on and it. beveling going mm -hmm. on this on premium materials, on titanium and S35VN American steel. Yeah. There's just so much work going on yeah. with it. It should be much more expensive. Well, and um, it has a really cool sheep's foot look to it too. Yeah, I like I've kind of bonded with him more too, which is bad. I'm like, this would be a really good kitchen knife. Yeah, uh, <laughs> let's talk about the, the designer. Yes. <laughs> Here, I want to show this. His name's Jelly Jerry. We're not making that up. It's really his name. It's Jelly Jerry. Yeah, he has some other designs out there too. You, they're kind of more futuristic. Yeah. I guess you would say. So, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I have one. What else do you have? I have another one of his designs too. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's is this, the, what brand is this? It's a concept. This is concept. So yeah. different brand. But see, kind of futuristic too. And he has kind of a thing for um, sheep's foot. And cutouts. And war clips. Yeah. Yeah. Very kind of futuristic lines. Do you happen to know the price on this one offhand? No. No. Okay. Uh, it's premium. So it is. It's, it's think, probably the same price. Think. Roughly. At least the same price. Yeah. 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 Well, the Atlas. Okay. It is a frame lock. All yes. right. No blade play. There's the, there's the centering. Pretty well perfect, right? Mm -hmm. There's the clip. Deep carry. It's just cool looking. I it's, like it. It's very nice. It's mm -hmm. a it's a bigger knife. Think bigger hands. Yeah. Um, it Can is you a, put your finger in the choil? A usable finger choil here. I thought it looked a little dangerous for bigger fingers. For the cutout? Yeah. Totally usable. And this is still like... No, for your finger. No, for what? the... the what are you The talking? finger choil. Yeah. It looked a little dangerous because it has a sharp edge to it for bigger fingers. Let's show, let's show a close up of what you're talking about. See, there's mine. And then put your finger in there. Put your finger in. 
<laughs> so it's got the drop off the cliff choil on the S35VN steel. We'll take a look at the thickness here in a second. Yeah, you might want to be a little careful, but okay. when you're choking up to do that type of work with cutting with, yeah, with you're kind of pulling. You, you're tending to be a little bit, yeah. maybe a little bit more careful anyway. Yeah. Okay. But no, that that works fine. Okay. How about this cutout here? It's a blood groove. Blood groove, sorry. Yeah. Could I get way down here and... Oh, you can. I could. But it, is, it is a nice looking No, what I'm saying, it's got a lot of extra milling. Look through the, the titanium scales there. Yeah. All of this work here. That's a lot of intricate work that needs to... It takes time and it takes mm -hmm. machining parts. Machining. Yeah. Robots. And then look at the, the backspacer itself. They took off material yeah. to expose the backspacer. I like that. It is cool. It, it has really neat design to it. Yeah. And they come in these nice bags too. Yeah, they're pouches. This is like what Kaiser used to have, which was awesome. So you get bag, um, a cleaning cloth. It is kind of just nice stuff that you get with it. Yeah. That's the new logo. So how I mean, about this? How about the monkey? How about we take the ad down and we don't Put this video out or we put the, the video out and we take the ad down we need or... a fun blade show yeah true okay but here's some other kubis too when we're when we're filming this we're funding blade show 2021 yes yeah we've got a few other kubis so this is the what do i always forget the name of it this is the ishtar ishtar yeah which is kind of cool looking too. Sweet design on I that. I kind of forget about it too. You we know? have a video on this. Yeah. I want to say it's probably a year old or so. Yeah. I do like it. I like how you can put your fingers like on top of the hole and it grips in there better. That's a good looking knife. It is cool. And this is the Sirena. Yeah. Sirena Williams. As, as Frankie calls it, the Sirena Williams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally uh, middle flickable <laughs> on the Ishtar. Let me, let me see that. One. This one's a flipper. Yeah, we have a video on this Sirena as well. Very thin mm -hmm. profile on this one, but it's kind of average length. Yeah, it's a cute little knife. I like it. And then this is the Hippo. And he's a bit chonky, like a Hippo. I'll show he's that one. He's got some girth in the rear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, he does. Check that out. Now this is a liner lock. It's got it's got a lot going on. It's got titanium, carbon fiber. It mm -hmm. is a liner lock with all that. Yeah. I don't know, maybe Kubi's a brand that we should look at more. Okay, let's, how much do you think he weighs? On the Atlas? Yeah. Well, it's got, with, with that interior milling, mm -hmm. it's gonna take some weight out of there. It's a big knife. Yeah. You'd expect it to weigh a lot. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were going to guess with that. 4.5. Oh my gosh, you're way off. Whoa, okay. Are you sure you have it? Are you sure you have it zero? C? Oh. <laughs> okay, I suck. Yeah, okay, it's heavy. It's 6.3. All right, let's check the other version. I'm not even going to show that. You should, that. like, edit that. I should edit that yeah, out, yeah. yeah. Edit that. No, we've just not handled this knife much. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. Okay. What do we so, have? So we're looking it's at... It's going to be wide, too. Blade stock thickness at the widest point. Okay, I bet... Okay, let's just see. 0. 0.16. 0. 0.16, definitely on the thicker side. Okay, the handle is pretty thick, too. At the widest point. 0. 0.55. So on the thicker side, not too thick. Oh, if I go... Yeah, 0.55. 0.55, yeah. 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 He's a bit of a chunk. It doesn't feel like it weighs six. No, but it's a big knife. So, I mean, like, it has good feel to it. Yeah. It has good action and retraction. Action and retraction. It feels appropriately heavy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. There's the cutout for the frame lock itself. Yeah. Okay. It's really smooth. It's on ball bearings, ceramic ball bearings. Yeah. Um, Any uh, blade play there? Nope. No. Okay. He's Excellent. Cute. At this at this price, even on uh, production knives, at this price, you don't expect to have any blade play. Yeah, it is really nice looking. It really that's is. for some people. That's worth. You uh, know what I would like. Sending it back, even the slightest blade play. Go ahead. Guess what I'm going to say with this. What? Um, let's say. 40% this size. 40% this size? Yeah. 
or 50%. I would say 60% that size. I would say it would be really nice in a smaller version. Yeah, yeah. Really, really nice. It kind of like throw, go into like the sheep, mini sheepdog category. Same, same blade shape and everything. Yeah. Same colors and everything. Yeah. Yep. I, I don't know why I thought of it, but the, um, was it, was it Alliance Designs? Yeah, the mini Slim Pickens. The Slim Pickens yeah. and the mini Slim Pickens. Yeah. yeah, that was just such a huge knife that everybody loved when they made the mini version. And the mini version was kind of a like regular big. size knife. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's just compare it to some other knives. It makes him look small. And it's like, this is a pretty good size knife, too. Yeah. <laughs> the Serena, that. definitely a smaller knife. Yes. It's a lady carry. Let's go like there. Ishtar. Ishtar. He's just cool looking. I like yeah. him a lot. Definitely all the, the premium knives here. Well, it, we've got a Kubi out there, but come on, Frankie. You're making me nervous. What? I know. I know. I'm messing with you. Okay. That's all we have today. Actually, we do have our ED seats today happen to be Kershaw's. Yeah. Put that there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going with the, the lighter EDC just because it's that time of year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a big it's a big knife. What do you think? It's got some weight and girth to it. Am I gonna regret selling it? Yes. Maybe they'll make a smaller version we and we'll get do. that. Yeah. We well, do. here's the thing: if they make the smaller version, oh, that'd be awesome. Then we'll also regret selling it because we'll want to compare it. That's true too. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Either way, it'll be sold by the time you watch this. Yeah. We'll put links into where you can get them, though. You yep. said you said Amazon has them. Yeah, Amazon has them. All right. Them. We'll, we'll put links into Amazon. Yep. We appreciate when you use those. Mm -hmm. It is cool. I All gotta right. say, I think I like that's him too. I think that's everything. We need to put him away because if not, he won't go up for sale. It's already up for sale. Oh, okay. It could sell while we're filming this. It really could. Literally, maybe it yeah. did. Yeah. We just put it up yesterday. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.